Okay, so here are a few of quantitative reasoning tips that I have for you. So let's take a look. So number one, like in the previous video, you have to be good with your mental maths. Obviously some equations you might be able to do quicker on the calculator, but some equations are just better doing in your head. Number two, be confident with your times table from one to 12. And if you know like up to 20, that is really good. But if you don't, don't bother learning them. Just stick to one to 12, make sure they are perfect. And hopefully they should be, but if not, don't worry, you have time, go over them, make sure you know them off by heart because it just helps a lot. Number three, know your fraction conversions, so fractions to decimals. And I will show you which fractions you actually need to know. And then practice using the keypad and the UCAT calculator. Now, the keypad on the keyboard, you have to know how to use it without looking. So that's looking at the screen and typing numbers without having to look at the keyboard because looking down and looking back up just wastes a bit of time. So with practice, you are able to do that. And then the UCAT calculator, there are certain functions on the UCAT calculator which might be useful for you to know and may possibly speed up your calculations. Because the main thing with quantitative reasoning is literally knowing how to speed up your calculations. So there's two things. Number one, interpreting the information given. So by interpreting the information, I mean picking out certain pieces of information and then formulating an equation. Number two is obviously building up the speed and doing anything which will help you speed up your calculations. And lastly, learn to skip certain questions immediately. So in other words, learn to recognize which style of questions would you want to triage in the exam. Now, in the exam for when I did it last year and the year before, I went in and made sure I would skip only a maximum of six questions. So they were essentially my lifelines. So every time I didn't feel like doing a question or I couldn't do it, then I would simply just skip it without thinking. I would simply just add a limit to myself to how many I can skip. But that meant I would have to get the other questions 101% correct. Like I would have to be confident with it. So that would help me gain a relatively good score in quantitative reasoning and I suggest you do the same as well so add a limit to how many questions you actually skip and which questions you should skip but obviously if it's early into revision you don't really want to skip like certain styles of questions you want to you know be confident with all the styles of questions so be confident with them do it untimed feel confident attempt all the questions, get 100%, then add time pressure as well. Because with time pressure, it becomes a lot more harder and you become slightly more stressed. And to be able to think under stress is also a good skill to develop as well.